When you feel overwhelmed in your business and you know you have good products, good services, and definitely have good things to say and value to add to people's lives, it can sometimes be overwhelming knowing how to communicate that so that you're not overwhelmed and you're not posting minute by minute. So something that we do at the Biz Runners is create our yearly overview and then from there, our monthly content calendar. So in Google Drive, we set up an Excel spreadsheet where we have an overview of what's going to happen for the entire year. And this just gives us an outline of what programs we want to release, maybe what we're promoting. It's not something that we're a hundred percent stuck with, but it gives us a guideline and it gives us an idea. If we're going to launch a program in March, we should probably talk about it in January and February. And then you can see the entire scope of the year in one shot. And from there, we create our daily tasks. So this is what we work on each day. So you see on Monday, we make sure that our blog posts are up and our email campaigns are set up for that week. They may not go out that week, but we make sure that they are scheduled. I know when I go live, Kristen knows when she goes live, and we know when we're going to work on the content for the following week. So from here, when we know our weekly business tasks, and again, there is no set, this is the way to do it, but we've found that when we have put this system in place, it takes out the guesswork. We don't have to stress anymore. And when we implement it for our clients and we put these systems in place for them, they feel the same stress relief that we do. And they have more time for their family and maybe their other full-time job. So this is definitely something that has helped us in our business. So we had the year at a glance, we had the daily tasks, and now I just wanna show you what a monthly spread looks like. So this was December. Here on this column, we have the social media platform. We have our Facebook page, our group, and maybe if you, we could put Instagram on here, but a lot of what we do is repurpose for Instagram, so we left it off. We have blog posts that go up, we send out an email campaign, and we go live. But I'm going to sh walk you through how we do this so that you see we're not creating brand new content for each one of these squares. So here we have the week. We have who is responsible. So on this day, Kristen's going to give the business tip or her business tip is going to be posted on the page and in the group. And that's what she's going to go live about. Um, I am responsible for this day, and then we go back to Kristen, and then me, and we have already predetermined what days we're going to be talking about what, and we're actually kind of overhauling this um, for 2018, just what days we're doing what, just to revamp it. I think it's good every maybe three to six months to look at, okay, maybe you don't want to do um, Motivation Monday every Monday. Well, right now we do something called Coffee Talk every Monday. I post a picture of a coffee graphic and ask um, a question to try to get engagement going in our page and in our group. And while sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, the whole point of it is to stay consistent. Your followers will come to expect those things from you. And yes, sometimes numbers go down, sometimes they go up. When they go up, pay attention to what it was. Was it a, um, an article or a post that tugged on their heartstrings? Was it a Facebook Live video? And I'm going to come back to that in just a second. But again, we are revamping it for 2018 just for something different. And we're um, sort of just kind of re really honing in on what our brand is and who we serve. So let me go back to this. Um, every or on Mondays in our Facebook page, we know in the morning our blog is going to go there, and we have that set up automatically through Squarespace. And at night, we are going to post a lead generator. Typically, lead generators are posted on Monday nights and Thursday nights. Why? I'm not really sure, but that's what seems to work. Um, you know, it could be that people are starting the work week on Monday and they're stressed, so they hop on Facebook, and then on Thursday they're kind of ready for the weekend. In general, we find the most engagement on our posts and on our emails and blogs between Monday and Wednesday. Um, 
you know, emails are not going to get open or read on the weekends. So definitely schedule those early on in the week. Okay. So we are talking about, this is what our question for coffee talk. Um, we on Tuesdays do a business tip and Kristen this week talked about being present in your Facebook groups. Well, that's what she was talking about live. So that's exactly what she posted about for the business tip. She maybe have given a little hint and then said, catch me live. The whole point of this content calendar is to point people to find you in different ways. So we post on Facebook, we post in our group and then we say, Hey, check us out live. And I guarantee you this week on the blog, I, we pulled in her content for this and we sent it out in our newsletter. So you're not constantly, constantly, constantly creating content. You're creating one really valuable piece of content and then you're making sure that people have access to it because I guarantee that if you have a Facebook page or a Facebook group that is not getting the engagement you want, is not getting likes or comments or whatever, they're not seeing it. Some people do see stuff and don't comment or like, and while there's some of those out there, we want to get rid of that guesswork. We want to get eyes on your stuff. And that doesn't mean that you have to create fresh, fresh content all the time. Um, and you can see it's similar throughout this week. And then on Fridays, we always share an article. Um, and I use a, we have a task manager program called Trello. You might have heard of one called Asana or something like that, um, where we, I just keep a running list of good articles that I find. And so I just kind of plug them in. But again, let me go back to this year at a glance. So if I knew that we were launching a virtual assistant program in January, I would maybe make sure that the articles I posted in December had to do with being a virtual assistant. So that's why this yearly overview is perfect. Okay, let me go back here. Let me show you. So this is our last week. We're talking about goals. You always want to be talking about or having content that is relative, that gives value, that shares a story. Those are some things to look for. You decide based on your brand, if Monday is a coffee talk post or a motivation post, maybe Tuesday could be a health and fitness tip. If you're in the health and wellness field, maybe Wednesday is you go live. You just make it a point to go live every single week on Wednesday. Don't set yourself up for failure. Don't set yourself up for, okay, I need to go live five days a week, every week. It's just not going to happen. And again, you don't have to, you know, if you don't like routine and you want to post on the fly because you have good things that just pop up in your head, that's perfectly fine. But here's what we suggest, that you start with a calendar, you give yourself a theme for every day of the week. Maybe on Mondays you share a testimonial from a client. On Tuesdays, maybe you give a tip for whatever business you're in. Wednesday could be a blog post or an article. Thursday, you could share, um, you could ask an engaging question. Again, we want your content to point back to your followers. So yes, we want to talk about ourselves and how we relate to people and we relate to our product or service, but we want to solve other people's problems. So maybe Thursday is a question to try to just get engagement up, to try to see what your followers need. What are their pain points? And then Friday could be fun Friday or whatever. So if you schedule out five regular posts, then you have the freedom to hop on, you know, Tuesday at 5 p.m. and share something awesome that happened to you in the grocery store. But you've already put something out there because you've already scheduled it. So people are already know that, hey, you're consistent. That's the whole point of this is that you want to be consistent. You have the system in place when you are busy, when you are overwhelmed, and you just don't have to think about it. So one of the things that we do is we fill out the content calendar the 15th, around the 15th of every month. So January is already pretty much filled out. Now I don't have all the ins and outs. I don't have what article we're going to be posting. I don't have what feature we're going to do, but I have an idea of what I'm going to talk about. I have an idea that this is going to be a motivational post. And then I go back to the year at a glance and think, okay, Maybe I want to motivate them to put a system in place in their business because everybody's talking about goals and everybody's talking about 2018. So again, that's, that's relative to what's going on in the world. So um, this is our content overview for January. 
And then the week before, and then the week before our content goes up, then we write out the individual posts. So let me show you what that looks like. So here we have the next folder for next week. What we do is, this is where the content calendar is that I just showed you. I'm gonna go into this week. We create a Google document. And day by day, I go in and say, okay, on Monday, Monday, this Monday is a little different, but we say, okay. And so again, we know that on Tuesday, let me go back here, the 26th, this is what we're talking about. We're talking about scheduling time off in your business. So that is what Kristen's going to be talking about that day. We're not going live that day. We did that uh, strategically, but that's how we do it. And then our virtual assistant goes in and she can see what picture she needs to use. She highlights this and schedules it in Facebook for us. So let me go back and I've labeled all the pictures so she can see exactly okay this needs to go to their Facebook page and their group at 6 a.m. and this is the picture that needs to go with it so again because we are organized and because we have this system in place for putting our content out there and again we can always adjust it as we go but at least we have the baseline and we're not stressed about what we're posting the day of but because we have this system in place we were able to say, okay, here you go to our virtual assistant. A lot of times it can be, you know you're overwhelmed in your business and you need to outsource, but you don't have a system in place and you don't know what to tell them to do. So then you end up wasting money and really frustrating someone when you're not intending to. This is the perfect way to streamline your content and hire someone to do it for you. Because when you have a system, you can easily train someone else in how to do it. A couple closing thoughts. Number one, people always ask, well, where do I post my stuff? Do I start with my blog and go from there? Do I start with Facebook? Do I start with Instagram? Do I post the same thing on everywhere? Here's what we have found. Number one, start with where your biggest following is. Where are your people? Where is your ideal client hanging out? Where do people find you most? Because then you'll start to have a greater reach. Ours is Facebook. So we start with our Facebook post in our group and in our business page. And from there, we can direct people to our blog, to our newsletter, um, by continuing to add value in those places as well. I am always writing content that points, you know, check us out on Instagram or follow us here, follow us here, because again, we want more eyes on your stuff. Number two, do you post the same things to your page, to your group, to your Instagram? You can if you want, we do as much as possible. But again, you have to ask yourself, what is relevant to your page? What is relevant to your group? We find that your business page um, is maybe not as um, special and unique as your group. Your group is really where you're gonna have um, the people that you nurture and that you give a ton and ton of value to. Um, should you do a theme every day? That's entirely up to you. We always recommend that because it takes the guesswork out. I've said it before in this video and I'll say it again. You do not wanna be trying to create content day of, post of, but when you have regular scheduled content going out, then it's so much easier and freeing to hop on a quick live video. Just because your content schedule says you go live on Tuesday afternoons doesn't mean that something awesome happened to you Monday that you just can't wait to share. So that is our tip for how to streamline your content. So you start with content calendar, you look at the year at a glance, figure out your tasks, what you're gonna do each day because you shouldn't be creating content every day. You shouldn't be writing blog posts every day. You start one place and then you repurpose it somewhere else. And then you do month by month. I don't recommend writing out content three months in advance because I'm just not ready yet and I still want to be pretty present in what's going on in the world and in my ideal client's life. We do a month in advance and we find that it works perfectly. So again, this is how you create a system for your content and how you streamline those processes to make your business run efficiently and successfully.